to get clarity on your fitness journey. Okay, let's get right into it. So look, if you tried to start going to the gym before and you go for the first day, first three, four days, and then you kind of go in there, you know, the next week not knowing what, you, what you're doing. And then you kind of go in there kind of like half-assing it. You kind of go in there not knowing what to do. And then you're kind of just like, meh. And then before you know it, you're kind of just letting go of this thought, this whole thing, this whole idea of you becoming fit, right? And then you're indecisively going. You're thinking, man, do I want to just sit home and watch this fucking video or do I want to go into the gym? Oh, why Why is it even that cool? Do, am I going to be happy? And then you're like, okay, I do want to go. And then you kind of have that. And then you enter this cycle where you're not fucking really doing anything. So look. What you need to do is get clarity on your entire decision of getting fit, okay? You don't want to just wake up one day and just be like, all right, I'm going to go to the gym. You need to really think about everything, dude. Every fucking thing you realize, like you need to think about it. And you need to sort of understand yourself as quickly as possible, okay? It doesn't mean think about it and never take action. But understand why you're doing this. Because if you don't know why, you're not going to be able to have a direction. Right? So the way you find clarity is you ask yourself questions like this, okay? If nobody was in this entire world, it was just you alone. I know it's hypothetical, but listen. If you were the only person in this world, would you still want to be fit and go work out? If your answer is no, then you need to look at yourself, man. And you need to rethink your intentions behind this whole thing. Okay? Because if your desire to get this is ego-driven like that, then, you know, you're going to have trouble during certain periods. Because nobody's watching you most of the time when you're actually putting in the work. Nobody's watching. It's, it's just you. If... You know, having the ego-driven side of the being, you know, the reason why you're doing this is not bad. But if it's the only reason, you haven't dug deep enough inside your pain, inside all your deepest reasons why you should be doing this. Okay? So look, number one, you need to understand that there's external and internal benefits to anything you do. Okay? Or, you know, internal or external, you know, consequences, side effects of anything you do, right? Because you could do something that's bad and that's going to affect you internally and externally. So look, you need to look and focus mainly internally. What are the benefits internally that you're going to have from this? What will be the things that benefit you regardless of anyone looking at you, regardless of you being in front of anyone? You're just being alone. What benefits will you have? Discipline. More control of your life, right? One thing you need to realize is that getting fit, there's benefits outside of just having a six-pack and getting girls. I know that's why you guys want this. The biggest benefits that you need to cultivate within yourself, they're going to be unique for everyone. But most people will get an increase of free will, discipline. They're going to get better at doing things that is difficult. Because they're used to consistently pushing themselves in the gym. You're going to trust yourself more, right? When you tell yourself, I'm going to go and do this. When you tell yourself, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to study for this. And you don't go through with those things. You lose a little bit more trust in yourself. You lose a little bit more trust in yourself every single time. And I had a person tell me, no, 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 but I, there's other things that I, I know how to do. Yeah, but how you do one thing is how you do everything. So everything affects you. Everything, even things you do that you think you get away with and you're not doing it, 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 it affects you. And it's going to show in your eyes. It's going to show in the way you walk. And these are all the things that you need to realize and embody those emotions that get triggered when you ask yourself, what if you don't change? What if you always stay the same? What if you never see change in your fucking life in this element, fitness? What if nothing ever changes? What if something does though? All those things, all those questions, they trigger emotions. And you need to be in tune with these. Because a lot of people just 
say, I'm gonna go to the gym and they don't even realize all these things that can be a part of their consciousness, okay? If you have one reason to do something, you're gonna be less likely to do it than if you have a hundred reasons of why you should do that. So you need to ask yourself these type of questions, okay? Now, that's it for the video today, guys, okay? Thank you for watching. If you made it to this point, comment fucking unit. And look, if you want a complete group where I talk about how to program your subconscious mind, how to get the mindset down right, because this is 80% mindset, and join a group, a community where you get to ask me questions and hop on calls with me personally for free. Join the school, I'll put the link right here in the description of this video. Join it right away because it's not gonna be free forever, it's only free temporarily. I will fucking help you, okay? Join the school, thank you for watching, man. I'll see you in the next video.